a decade ago after cold weather caused power blackouts all across the state of Texas, federal officials handed down some recommendations to help to solve the problem. Well, fast forward to this year and Texas faced winter storm Uri in February, which killed hundreds of people across the state. ABC 13's Courtney Carpenter is live after speaking with experts about how our state's power grid, grid could have been better if those recommendations were followed. Courtney? Well, there's a difference between recommendations and regulations, right? The experts I spoke with today say what we learned from 2011 is that the power providers didn't listen to the recommendations from the federal officials. So will they this time? Will they be made regulations? They say the future of our power grid depends on it. Winter storm Uri killed more than 200 people in Texas and left millions in the dark. In 1981, 1989, and then 2011, similar story. Fool me three times. It's, it's bad. Fool me a fourth time, it's even worse. Please, let's not make it a fifth time. This week, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, known as FERC, and the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, known as NERC, released a preliminary report following February's freeze and made 28 recommendations, most of which should occur within the next two to three years. A similar report with recommendations was released after blackouts in 2011. Most power providers did not act on them. A decade later, experts say the recommendations need to be taken seriously. FERC and NERC issued a report and they found the, the exact same shortcomings, that, that we didn't listen last time, we didn't winterize our natural gas systems, we didn't winterize our power plants. Um, I'm hopeful the legislature and the, and the Texas regulators are doing more this time than last, but, but I still don't think they're doing enough. The chief energy officer at the University of Houston says ultimately the way our system is set up has to change, where power producers make money when they're actually up. You give them an option in 2011. Nobody watched the system when they failed. In fact, most of the energy companies actually made money because of, because of the winter storm rather than um, uh, go out of business, right? And so, we are almost rewarding bad behavior. I asked both experts, are we any more prepared at this point if we were to have another winter storm like we did in February of this year? They said maybe slightly. There would maybe be slightly less blackouts, but still hundreds of thousands of people in the dark. And before there's any significant changes made, it's going to be at least another winter, if not longer.